What do you do when you own a coffee shop and a Starbucks opens up right across the street? That's what happened to Peter Crippen, the owner of Rex Coffee Shop. Well, Peter explains just how his business attempts to stand out from the competition as part of our small business spotlight. My name is Peter Crippen, and I own Rex Coffee. For me, in the beginning, you know, I. I was a corporate pilot for 10 years, you know? I mean, I worked for somebody else. When I left that field and I started working in restaurants and things like that, I found out that I was being paid, in some places I was working a very good salary, but I was making the owner so much more money. And I was like, well, shouldn't I do that for myself? When I first opened, we were the only show in town. When Starbucks opened up, that, that got my attention, you know? And, and it didn't just open up, it opened up right across the street. And the first thing I saw was 10% of my afternoon sales disappear like that. That 10% for a small business is crazy important. So that's when I came up, I said, we're gonna have to start doing breakfast sandwiches every single day of the week now. When we started doing that, we immediately took that 10%, turned it into 15% on the morning, and slowly built up the afternoon. We had meetings, we said, hey guys, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna beat this, and we're gonna beat it with customer service. When someone walks in that door, they're coming into your house. 80% of our customers, every day are repeat customers. And the friendships that are created between the staff and the uh, customer, it, it kind of blows my mind sometimes. It's the big guys, it's the, it's the other coffee shops that make you really think, all right, what can we do better? How can we improve this? What can we offer everybody that they're not getting at Starbucks or somewhere else? I will say the first thing about opening my own, uh, the second branch, my biggest problem was my ego. There was a person who owned a coffee shop there. So they said, hey, would you like to buy the coffee shop? And I was looking at it, I was like, oh, I can do this. I can make it better. I can do this. And I wasn't thinking properly. I have a friend that's owned a restaurant for uh, owned 20 years right down the street. And he said, Pete, don't do it. It's not a good location. And another person I totally trust. And he said, it's a strange street. I wouldn't do it. I should have listened to them rather than letting my ego say, I'll show them. And people that say, didn't you open a second location? And I said, yeah, yeah, I did. And they're like, oh, well, uh, where is it? And I go, oh, we closed it after a year. And they say, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, oh, don't be sorry. Are you kidding me? I got an MBA out of it. It was the greatest learning experience that I can imagine. So Rex is, Rex is my son. So I decided to call it Rex Coffee um, because when my wife was in the hospital about to deliver my son, that's when I had the epiphany, walking down 10th Avenue, trying to find a decent sandwich and a coffee. I, we need to put our shop right here. My name is Peter Crippen, and I own Rex uh, Coffee.